Hello everyone, and this is Jeremy back with uh, American Truck Simulator. Uh, and in this episode, I'm going to be trying to do one of these special transports. I guess it basically just comes down to which truck do I want to drive, which I guess I'd rather drive the Western Star. The pay is exactly the same, it's the exact same load. Although I do like the Mac Anthem. But anyway, I need to do one of these. So let's do this one, this transport helicopter, 52 feet long by 13 feet wide by 10 feet high, maybe. Maybe the other way around, probably the other way around, although I'm not sure. All right, let's see how this goes. I'm gonna get 9,600 bucks. Uh, maybe for the next episode, I will just take out a bank loan and buy a truck. Yeah, he really, well, yeah, we can watch this show right now. Western Star. Alright, definitely 13 feet tall, 10 feet wide. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I've seen enough. Apparently I have not seen enough. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. You're about to haul a special transport cargo. There are two escort vehicles which will lead you. Please be careful and follow their lead and suggestions in the road advisor. Special transports like this don't stop on red signal, and you have the right of way in most situations. During these deliveries, checkpoints are made more often to save your current progress. Blah, blah, blah. Yep, yeah, I know. All right. Let me set the view there. Get the right screen. I like the speed. So let's go. Some reason we're leaving from Volt. What is this? Volt to Motors. Um, hopefully, I have any clearance here. I need to turn the volume down again, I will be right back. Alright, sorry about that, I did not, I don't know, I guess every truck has a very different volume, which is good I guess, but damn, is that loud. Oh, I forgot I have a very large trailer. <laughs> That's good, they put the... Oh, okay, I guess they put the flags in there because this is my truck. 182 miles to Yellowstone. Alright, so hopefully everybody's having a good week. Uh, today's Tuesday. can be a lot of fun. I wish we could go faster than 40 though, because this is going to take 
quite a while. But that's okay. I enjoy doing the driving. Yeah, push the cars over. Make sure nobody's on the center line. <laughs> We do have our rear transport, right? Yeah. Okay. Couldn't actually see them in the mirror. I guess I can see them in the mirror, but just barely. Right, the Western Star. Wyoming, just giant rolling nothingness. <laughs> that was my experience with it at least. I don't know. I'm sure there's better areas, but that's all I ever saw was giant rolling hills of nothingness. Just like what I'm looking at right now. Teton Park and Yellowstone Park. I don't know. I guess I'm going to leave this unedited just so you guys can see the whole thing. But, I mean, of course you're welcome to skip wherever you want. I don't know. It's just a long drive and there's not really anything that I feel like I should cut out or keep in or anything. I don't know. Maybe if I do more of these and it becomes a real series for sure. Uh, I mean, this is the third episode, I guess, but... Don't worry, there's going to be another Scrap Mechanic video tomorrow on Wednesday. Wednesday, April 20th, there will be another Scrap Mechanic video. I think if I release American Truck Simulator videos, I'm usually going to do um, two videos at the same time. Just because, but... If it's just a scrap mechanic video, it's probably just going to be one video that day. Unless I also upload an American Truck Simulator video for the same day. But, we'll see how that goes. Okay, why does it feel like we're going slower and slower? Do I need to speed up? I don't remember. I guess I do. Somehow it knows what speed I'm going and it drives that speed. Okay. That works, I guess. Yep, so it seems like this is going to be quite a while. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess I hopefully everybody's having a good day today. I'm having a good day. It's a good day, although I'm up pretty early in the morning making this. Just because... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why are you just standing there on a motorcycle like that? That's so weird. Alright, 35 miles an hour for this sharp turn. Doesn't look as sharp as the sign said. It's definitely sharp enough though, for sure. <laughs> trying to keep the whole trailer in my lane, but that's not easy to do. control at 40. That should be seeing how it's literally just a schedule of that's supposed to take this long. Oops. Why does that not work? Usually you used to just be able to keep pressing it forward to make that go away. I guess that's not the thing anymore. So far away are we? 132 miles. So about three hours. 
seems about right. Given the fact that we're going 40 miles an hour. some of these heavy transports near where I live a few years ago. Uh, of course they did in the middle of the night just like this. I think they were hauling generators for a power plant or something. Okay, I guess we're staying in this lane. That's fine. So we got road work ahead. Where's the road work? It's moving with 35, so I'm gonna have to slow down. Here. Oops, slowed down a little too much. Wow. Okay. <laughs> doubt anybody watching this would remember any of those games, but maybe somebody does. If you do, maybe you could leave a like and a comment and <laughs> mention if you ever played those games, because uh, that definitely brings me back. Of course, I could be completely misremembering it, but either way, I know I played those games for sure. Those were a blast back in the day. And then they became this, which is, I guess, way more realistic and a lot more fun to play. But those were pretty cool back in the day, too. Back on my old school computer that run it just fine. <laughs> Even though it wasn't really much compared to modern computers. Yeah, so this computer here, uh, that I, I built this, uh, I don't know about years ago, two and a half years ago, something like that. It's uh, an i7 9700K and a 2080 Ti. Uh, it's definitely still got plenty of power. Why the fan runs as much as it does, I, I don't know what I messed up there. Probably just needed a better cooling system, obviously the processor was getting too hot, I'm assuming. So the graphics card should be fine. I don't know, not a humongous computer nerd, I just, I just enjoyed building them back when that was cheaper. <laughs> Let's see, that looked like a national park, that's cool. We're in 40 mile an hour cruise control again, let's go. 
getting close. 71 miles, okay, now well, we're closer. Grand Teton National Park. All right. Really do put a lot of detail into trying to make in this game as real as possible. I mean, like I said, I've never been to this part of Wyoming, but just everything about this game seems so real. I mean, of course, there's Euro Truck Simulator. I've played that a little bit, too. I can play that on the channel, too, if people would like. I can change between the two series. I definitely don't play Euro Truck Simulator as much, because well, I'm not European. But, I mean, well, it was the first, first one that I played, because it came out for ever gone 15 in my life. Oh, because we're literally going through like a national park? Wow, okay. Where in the world are we taking this helicopter? <laughs> Why couldn't they just fly it? <laughs> I know they took the blades off for transport, but that doesn't mean that it's broken. a lot if I can't find it I'll just grind it in my videos for this game um, I mean of course I could just play it in automatic but what's the fun of that because I have a racing wheel and pedals and shifter and everything so might as well use them Pacific Creek okay we've got to be getting close now in our drive through nowhere here. All right, let's cruise control it up now. Uh, I think that said something about bears. That makes sense. I feel like our rear convoy vehicle is kind of falling behind for some reason. Yeah, my other saves, there's sometimes where I've played this where like both of the vehicles will just stop. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, they'll just stop on the road and they just won't move anymore, so I just keep driving on my own while the transport vehicles are just stuck there. Very peculiar. Very, very peculiar. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, I guess maybe maybe for another episode, uh, maybe I'll try uh, your truck simulator. It's been a while since I've played that. I really like some cab over trucks. I don't think I have all the DLCs for that game just because I kind of stopped playing it, you know. I definitely still have it installed on the computer though, but I just don't really play it anymore. Alright. I feel like we're getting somewhere now. Where we're getting, I don't know, but we're going somewhere. I guess, yeah, I was like, why are there like no other cars on the road? But I guess it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, so that kind of makes sense. Seems like there would be no reason for any other cars to be on this road. Looks like we get to go down to 25 again. Slow down just a little too much. There we go. Oh, there's just a bus creepily sitting over there at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's okay. Oh, looks like we get to go 2015 again. Science at 15, but we'll go 25 again, I don't care. Soft shoulder for the next 22 miles. Okay. Sneak river. Okay, that science at 35. 
five, but I guess we just get to go right to 40. Works for me. Are we gonna have to go 35 now, or are we still going 40? No, we're going 35. Okay. <laughs> Geyser Basin, that sounds like fun. We must be getting to or we are in Yellowstone. Some place that I do want to go. I'd like to go to Yellowstone and see the geysers and stuff. Actually, I had a plan to do that last summer, but that didn't quite happen, so... Maybe this summer. Maybe this summer. again, uh, we're turning here for this cop car, uh, government area, all right, <laughs> I'm sure this should be easy parking, hopefully, just pull this in, because there's no way to back up this trailer with dollies that it has, I think this one has dollies, it should, they usually do for these special transports, nice fire truck though. Really? Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Decoupling the trailer. All right. This has been my special transport with Jeremy. Uh, thank you for watching me play American Truck Simulator. If you enjoyed it, you can like and subscribe. That'd be great. Um, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.